There is an alternative non-calculus solution to this problem in that we can use this property that if I draw a line from this point to here, the, that's the shortest distance and that line is going to be perpendicular to this line that's tangent to that point. Okay, so we can look at this and we can say that, well, this line here has slope of, okay, and I'm going to do this in a different color, that blue line, the slope of that blue line is going to be equal to the rise. In this case, it's going to be one-third log x over the run, which is x. It just happens to be rise and run from the zero, so there's my slope. And I can also say that this, the slope of the green line, so that green line, the slope of that green line can be found from the derivative. So I have y is equal to one-third log x. Okay, so y prime is equal to one over three x. Okay, so there's my derivative and I want to know the slope y prime at point, some point x and so it's going to be 1 over 3x and what do I know about this is the slope of the green line so what I know about the slopes of those two lines is that they are negative reciprocals of each other there's a few ways I can express this but I'm just going to do it this way I'm going to say that the slope log x over 3x times the reciprocal slope is equal to negative 1. So if I multiply two of the negative reciprocal and the negative, or sorry, number and this negative reciprocal together, I'm going to end up with a product of negative 1. And then I can solve this equation. So I end up with log x is equal to negative 9x squared. So I end up with log x plus 9x squared equal to 0. And again, I end up with the same equation that I ended up with over here, which I solve for by graphing. So this is an alternative, and I'm just using this property that the closest point line, the line that's close, that's going to give me the shortest distance from this origin to that point is going to be perpendicular or at 90 degrees to the tangent line. So I compared the slope of the blue line to the slope of the green line by finding the derivative and then the expression that represents slope of the green line at point x.